The International Missionary Congregation of the Sisters of St. Paul de Chart was founded in 1696 in Loveville, a small village outside of Chart. This is a picture of the first house of our sisters. Now I will tell you a little about Father Chauvet. In 1694, Father Chauvet was a young priest, only 30 years old, and he was assigned to the parish in Loveville. When he arrived, he found the church in ruins. He was aware that for three centuries, the population had known nothing but wars, looting, and insecurity. On top of all this, the poorest population didn't even seek to improve its conditions. Let us take a look at Father Chauvet at this time, who is more than concerned about the children who have a right to education. He has been struggling with the question of what to do about the children who were not being educated. So he seeks the help of Mary Ann DTA, who attends mass daily in the parish. Mary Ann. I am worried about the children who are not attending school, so I intend to open a school at Levyville. I have the permission of the Bishop of Chartres, but I need means. I am thinking of renting a few acres of land from the parish in order to provide for the expenses of a school teacher. However, I need someone who will train teachers. You have been taking an active part in the parish, and I also know how devoted you are to your family. This is why I immediately thought of you for my project. Me? Train teachers? Do you think I am capable? Of course. You are educated and well behaved, and you know how to rely on God. All right. I agree. It is probably he who guided me here. The most difficult work remains to be done because there are numerous oppositions to this project. With the help of God, Mary Ann, we can make this project succeed. Around Easter 1700, the Loveville Girls' School starts functioning. First of all, in a cellar. Mary Michaud is the first school teacher. She teaches reading, writing, and catechism. Barb Foucault and Mary Therese Duchranche have also joined the group of women who help to teach the children. On May 10th in 1700, Father Chauvet and Mary Anne de meet in the rectory. Father Chauvet wants to share with her the results of the meeting last night. The meeting was with Antoine de Tillet, one of Mary Ann's brothers, and of numerous village people as they meet in Levisville. At last, our ideas have been accepted. Last night, they agreed to sell a plot of parish land to me. We can build a house for you and the other teachers. That's great, Father. This way, we will all live together. As you know, my mother is not in favor of my teaching. She thinks I need to get married. Her treatment of me is getting much worse. I don't know if I can endure this treatment much longer. With the house, I will have some place to go. Mary Ann, I am sorry that your stepmother cannot understand the call in our hearts. She has questioned me on more than one occasion as to whether or not it is appropriate for you to be with peasant girls. She worries so much about what others think. She keeps telling me this and threatening me too. I will be glad when the house is finished. Yes, Mary Ann, it will be much easier for you. It will be helpful for the others as well. It will be much easier to support each other on our spiritual journey as well. And we will be able to pray with each other much more often. What you, ha what you just mentioned is of extreme importance. I am thankful that we have permission to buy the land. I will move things forward as quickly as possible. Mary Ann returns home and the treatment of her stepmother worsens. Mary Ann, I forbid you to return to that community, yet day after day you would go back to Levyville. Can't you see that your future is not there? You should be home and prepare for marriage. 
Mother, Father Chauvet needs me. In the first place, I don't want to get married. I want to help the poor. Helping the poor is my dream. I'm happy when I'm helping. What you want doesn't matter. You should do what's expected out of you in life. I must follow my heart, and my heart is with the poor. Marianne, if you insist on going back, you will not be allowed in this house. Can't you see that you'll be living as one of the poor when you, if you leave? Are you leaving? Are you going back? Yes, this is what I must do. You have been warned. I forbid you to return to this house. Here, six chemises and your gray habit, and that's all you shall have. Lord, give me strength to love and forgive as you did on the cross. She goes to Father Chauvet to tell him that she has been thrown out. He advised her, he advised her to go and ask Mademoiselle Catherine de Valois hospitality since she supported their work. Catherine de Valois <coughs> took Mary Ann into her house. Soon the school teacher's house is built. Today this house is called the cradle of the community. When the building is finished, Louise Chauvet gets together with Mary Andy Tillier and three peasant girls, Mary Michaud, Barre Foucault, Mary Therese Dutranche. Mary Ann reminds her teachers that it is a good thing to develop the children's intelligence. However, they must not forget to give them also a love for manual work. She teaches them that they will also have to look after the poor and after the sick. All of the teachers, besides educating children and taking care of the sick, had to earn money by selling their knitting and embroidery work so that they could provide their, for their living expenses.
Sisters, my heart is happy and light. I sing God's praises because I have no greater blessing than to have my daughters walk in the truth. 